the next three nights are expected to be hard on plants, too, especially the ornamentals and non-native species you have in your yard. Eight on your side is here with some tips on how to protect your plants. Jeff Patterson joining us live in Tampa. So what can you tell us there, Jeff? Good evening, Keith. Well, I'm in Fred Ballpark just off of Bayshore Boulevard, and some plants like these that are established and these that are native to Florida do not need to be covered, but others in your yard do need to be covered, and there are things that you need to know in advance of this freeze. As the cold approaches, the blankets and frost coverings are coming out in South Tampa. It's a good way to protect flowering plants, non-native species, and new plantings. But at the Little Red Wagon Nursery in South Tampa, Anita Camacho says not everything in your yard needs to be covered. Well, natives are actually a lot easier because they evolved in Florida, so they're used to whatever Florida has to throw at it, whether it's hurricanes or cold weather once in a while. She says the rains we've been receiving this week will help, and you can protect your plants more by watering this evening before the real cold hits. So what, a, what we recommend a lot of times for folks is, even if you have exotic plants which are not necessarily cold hardy, is to water really well today. And uh, that will help the plants and heat up the, heat up the ground and, um, and help the roots be prepared to take this on. Camacho says some plants do need to be covered, but be careful when you do it. Younger plants, more tender plants, sure. Um, avoid plastics because they're typically heavy and will break the plants, so you've kind of worked against yourself in that way. But sheets can work, frost cloth if you can find it at this point. So again, if you have new plants, exotic plants, ornamentals, cover those. Uh, if you have potted plants, you may want to consider bringing those in. But uh, Camacho says be careful about that because some of those plants can actually be toxic to pets and you want to pet, protect your plants and our furry friends as well. Reporting live in South Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.